Ladies and gentlemen, how's it going? Frank here with another DIY. So today we are going to be working on this bicycle. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I was joking. Um, so today we will continue working on this 07 Toyota Navara where we, we, were, uh, we are installing uh, the conversion kit for the timing chain. So stay tuned. Um, so today, first thing is first, I will be uh, before the we put everything back together. I want just to make sure that I clean up all this old RTV that we have here. So I will be using this scissor blade and this other one to make sure that it, it cleans up, and also some brick cleaner. Yeah, now it's time to start putting everything back together. Um, I will start with the vacuum pump sprocket. As you can see, is this one right here? Is I showed you guys. This is the YD25. As you can see, YD25 sprocket. Don't go Chinese. Don't buy low quality stuff because they will break up so now let's go ahead so to tighten up this 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 sprocket you have to uh, do a 45 newton meters tight up I've just used the old chain to do that so you can do it if you're doing at home it's easier so now I think it's time to insert the camshaft do not forget to use the half moon so I will clean up um, the shaft with some brake cleaner and then um, I will put some new engine oil and I will lube it up So you will start heating it slowly. Okay, um, so we will have to check it for the alignment as you can see, but it is now inserted there. Okay, so before we insert uh, the sprocket all the way back, we will go ahead and install um, the fuel pump uh, sprocket to make sure that we have everything aligned because the fuel pump sprocket has some uh, shims and we have to make sure that everything is aligned as it should. So those are the shims that we have to use in order to reach the proper alignment there so I think this is the first shim that has one dot and <laughs> the funny thing is that on my car I didn't have any shim before So it goes like that. We have to check for alignment first. This is the sprocket. So when you're installing your uh, uh, fuel pump sprocket, you have to make sure that you have a perfect alignment between those two sprockets. You, as you can see, your sprocket for the vacuum pump has a flat uh, has a flat head down there so you make sure that when you put a rack just over both of them you have a flat surface and they stay pretty much aligned so that is your perfect uh, alignment so you use those shims in order to achieve your perfect alignment um, so now it's time to test fit um, the chain 
so this is the brand of the chains that we are using it's iwis i think it's german or from uk you can see that this is a pretty pretty good timing chain and you can see that uh, you have your timing for your sump and for your uh, vacuum pump So after you insert the chain, let me just show you from the bottom. So as you can see right here, this dot must align. I mean this uh, this trace must align it there. So you have to insert the chain first before you insert it back down there because of this pin. Otherwise, you will not be able to insert it. So now let's beat it up in order to return it in order to go further so as you can see um, the timing chain is there sitting properly so what I will do now is start to tight uh, the sprocket nuts so I will just pick the bolts and install them so to torque down those you will have to set your uh, torque range to 39 Newton meters of torque 39 39 39 39 So next next we have to install our guides Time for the guides And then we have this one, we have this other one, this one fits just right there, and now we have to install this one that goes on the bottom, don't forget to add those two parts. This one goes just there. For the bolt on the tensioner, you have to apply 23.6 Newton meters of torque. As you can see, it's tight you closely what we have done you can see right there the timing mark we have the two guides over there we have the other one here the sprocket and also those bolts are all tightened up so now it's time to do the balance uh, gear as you can see we had the marks that we left earlier so we have to make sure that those match. If you go, if you see there, the marks are becoming aligned. That's our goal. So, as you can see right here, we have our paintings matching up, which is perfect. Ooh, that's exciting so now it's time to do the upper we are getting there so this is the chain that we are going to use for the camshafts this is a japan made chain 
you can see our marking points are those the yellow one goes to the uh, fuel pump those two upper ones goes to the go to the cams so let's line them up You have also to line up the yellow one. Those two are lined up. This one right here, it's also lining up. So now it's time to do the the guides. Do not forget to add your lower tensioner. This is the part number. This is the part number. So now it's time to add this other guide. Okay, so now it's time to put this tensioner right there. So voila, we have all the chains and guides installed. So I think now it's time to move uh, to check if everything is rolling. I will remove the pin. Uh, I think I have everything tightened up as it should. So yeah, I think it's time to remove the pins. As you can see, I removed the one on the bottom. And also remove the one on the top. So I think that now we can, I will remove the pin. Let me disengage the car. We can rotate the engine. Also, we have to go ahead and press fit the new oil seal for the pump, for the pump. So I will go ahead and take that out and press the other one. So you can see our new seal is on. The easier way that you can do this is to put a little bit of oil on the seal and just press it. It will go just right in. So as you guys can see, I've just put it on the new RTV. So we will go back to the car and fix it up. Now I'm going to put the top cover uh, just like that. So.
So I will go ahead and torque down the 10 mil bolts. You have to apply 12, um, 12 12.7, 13 newton meters of torque for those 10 mils. And there is a sequence that you need to use, which is shown right there. So you can actually follow that order and you will be able to tighten it up. So let's go ahead and do them all. So we got all the bolts tightened up. The pulley is inserted. So I will go ahead and drain out this oil in order to test start the car. Uh, so moment of truth I've just put it some some stuff the oil and all the lines in order to make sure that I refill uh, The all the system so I will go ahead and start up the car <laughs> That's a good swap. So um, I put everything back together. Uh, as you can see, the car is running flawlessly. No issues at all. So I'm pretty happy with the results. Everything is working as it should. <laughs> 